All right, next fight, we have Muhammad Makaya versus Alex Perez. So this is another exciting fight. Another undefeated guy, Muhammad Makaya of 11-0 right now. Young UFC career and very much an X factor. Uh, his fights that I've watched, yes, he's finished three of them by sub. Uh, four of them, excuse me. Four fights in the UFC have been finished by Makaya by sub. Another one was a unanimous decision win. So... Four subs, one de one decision since he's been in the UFC since March 2022. And don't get me wrong, that's great, and I'm very impressed. But, man, Tim Elliott really brought the fight to him. And I believe it was also, uh, yeah, Jafel Philho brought the fight to him. He didn't even get those until round three. All of his subs, except for the guillotine in his debut, have all been round three. That's very surprising. So it takes him – almost the entire length of the fight to finally get the sub. So, hey, kudos to him for still digging digging deep and finding it because Tim Elliott and Phil Ho gave him a hell of a fight. So that is impressive, but it is also concerning. And Alex Perez has been around for a while, so he's 24 wins, 7 losses, so definitely has the clear experience edge as far as the UFC experience edge, once again, he has that. He's been in the UFC since 2017, but he's not been very impressive. And I feel like this is bad matchmate. Well, bad and good subjective, but in my opinion, this is a clear example of feeding a guy with his biggest weaknesses to a guy they're trying to promote in Makayev, who Perez's biggest weaknesses play into Makayev's biggest strengths. So I can't necessarily say it's bad matchmaking, but it definitely is victimization and taking advantage of Alex Perez. Like he's, uh, well, I can't say that on YouTube, so I'll keep it PG and just say they're really taking advantage and being nasty. They're being downright mean to Alex Perez by giving him a guy who has all these sub finishes and he's lost his last two fights in the very first round, mind you, by sub. So that should be really all you need to know about this fight. And I just kind of think that's how it's going to go. I think he's going to get his ass kicked by sub. And I don't think it's going to take Makaya three rounds to do it. I think this is pretty much a easy layup that they're giving him because they want to capitalize on his undefeated record. The fact that he's British and also pretty sure he's Dagestani. I don't think he's Chechen, but let me double check that. But they have two markets two markets with Makayev to take advantage of. And you know there's nothing Dana loves more than that sweet, sweet British market that they've been desperately trying to claw their way into since the days of Michael Bisping. So Makayev definitely gives them the ability to be able to break into the British market and also uh, also the other market of uh, you know good Muslim fighters that exist with the rise of Habib, Islam, Makashev, etc. So... Yeah, I, I really don't have much to say. I mean, on in theory, it could be tough, but I just think it's uh, I just think it's serving them up on a silver platter as a sacrificial lamb. Alex Perez is going to be unfortunately, and they're probably going to kick him to the curb and use it as an excuse to cut him after this. So let's check out how disgusting the odds are. Money line. <laughs> Uh, minus 355 for Makaya, plus 280 for Perez. Don't fall for it. I'm not even going to look at Perez props. You're wasting your time. Makaya by sub, though. Plus 150. Shocking. Very shocking. KO, TKO, DQ, plus 800. Don't think it's going to be that. Don't think it'll make it to decision. So not bad, actually, that you can put um, money on sub right now at plus 150. I'll take that, please, and thank you. What do you got? So I was watching some Alex Perez, uh, <clears throat> some film on him. I was very impressed. And then I went back and I saw when these fights were and how often he's been fighting. This dude is not active, man. I was very impressed with what I saw. And then I thought, oh, my God, his last two losses were to Pantoja and Figgy. Like, this dude must be pretty good. The dude, he's 31 years old. Like you say, he's got a lot of experience, but man, it just, it seems like he rarely fights anymore. Um, he's got some unreal grip pressure. Like I was seeing him sub dudes without locking stuff up. And you really don't see that in the UFC. Like that's some um, like JV level type garbage that 
doesn't work, but he's got that pressure that is just really insane. He's got some nice defense, and he's a very accurate striker from what I was seeing. When I was watching Mikhaev, very good wrestling, and he will take the wrestling to you. I mean, he his takedowns, I believe, when I was doing the uh, the background work for these graphics, it's like almost like f- over four. Like, that's a lot of takedowns. Um, he'll eat punishment, too. Starts with um, a, a really good pace, and he can chain that wrestling, striking, and subs very quickly, which we see a lot of guys, they'll strike. Uh, and then if a guy falls down, you know, they have to – go through guard and work their way up. And he works the stuff as people are falling, you know, he'll kick, he'll get you around the legs, try to do a takedown and then somehow find your neck, find something. And I've been very impressed with uh, some of his sub work. Um, Almost loses like every fight, which is really weird for a guy that's so good. Um, But Alex Perez rarely fights. We saw that Mikhaev, and there was a little bit of controversy with, I think, his second-to-last one um, where he said that he tapped. I watched the video. Uh, I really could feel it going either way. It did kind of look like he tapped, but at the same time, it wasn't like a full-on tap. So I'm just going to let that one go. Dude almost got his knee completely broken off, but he kept going. Uh, So he's got the heart of a fighter. His heart and cardio don't bothered me at all but then even in his i think you said tim elliott his elliott fight uh he, he thought and elliott thought that it was 1-1 elliott was actually he won the first two rounds if you look at how the judges uh they, they graded those two so if it did go to decision mckayev was gonna lose and i don't see mckayev losing this one i don't see it going to decision don't really see it being a knockout so i'm right there with you man straight up sub at plus 150 better start listening to the better in green podcast you will not regret it trust me trust me trust me and hey i'm dean blandino welcome 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 to better in green hey to better in green hey to better in green hey listen in and cash out that's what it's all about come on let's make cash now we always on spot and we cover all spot from the bottom to the top hey Shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.